guys welcome back okay so today i decided i wanted to go ahead and sit down and put on some makeup okay like any other day right but since i haven't done a coffee and color with kk in a little while i went ahead made me a nice little cup of joe now this one is flavored this one is butter toffee and i'm not exactly sure how i feel about it right now It's pretty good it's pretty good you know you get some flavor coffees and they just taste so artificial that it's just not good well this one is pretty tasty I need to go get me some pumpkin spice because it's about that time but anyway I digress so before we get started let me just show you the palette that I'm playing in today this one has been out for quite a while but when I saw it at Target I was like hmm, what's that I had never seen it before but from what I understand, it's been out for a little while. I did pick this up at Target. I thought it was kind of neat that they were, you know, stocking some different eyeshadow palettes and different makeup products and stuff. But anyways, this is from Color Story and it's called the Mirage Palette. You can see mirages and gold. So this is the beautiful packaging. It kind of looks like mermaid scales or something, very pretty. But this is what colors are in the inside very very pretty I think it has some nice beautiful bright shades but I can also do a nice fall look with this but I am going to try and use as many colors in here as I can to get a feel for this palette but I think it's pretty cool there is a mirror in here so this is the palette that I'm going to be playing with today nice little ten dollar palette from Target see how it performs and the rest of the stuff I think I've pretty much used before, except I do also have this cute little blush and highlight palette that I got from Target a while back ago and I haven't tried it out yet. So it looks like there's highlight, blush, even a little bronzer to play around with. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Pomade and throw on some brows right quick, set my lids, and then we can test out this palette. Okay, you guys, so I have my lids prepped with some Revolution Concealer. Now, let's jump right into this palette. Um, like I said, I want to use as many colors as possible, which means I'm going to do a cut crease. <laughs> so, I'm going to go... Yeah, I think I'm going to do dark to light today. So, I'm going to go into this dark brown shade right here. There are names on here. So this one is called Mainland. I'm gonna go into that and just put that in my crease. Okay, so this shade is dark enough. It's not as dark as I thought it would be, but it's all right. Ooh, child, a fallout. <laughs> Y'all see that fallout? Yes, it is powdery, okay? So next, I wanna go into this shade here, which is like a really pretty pink shade, matte, and it is called Maui. And I'm just going to use that to blend out my crease area. Hopefully, the dark brown doesn't disappear. pretty I like that pigmentation it's building up very nicely I'm actually surprised I didn't expect it to um, show up that nicely but okay got me a nice little strawberry chocolate blend going on this shade here which is just like a kind of a lighter tan matte shade called plage and I'm just gonna place that right underneath my brow so it'll give me a little bit of highlight, but also help to blend out that pink a little bit better. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Very nice. You see the difference in the blend on this side compared to the blend on this side? 
it's just a little bit more harsh and not even this one just kind of blends up a little bit nicer okay so i'm going to go in with some of my cut crease canvas right quick create a cut and then we'll come back and start playing with some shimmers okay guys so now that i have my crease cut nice simple cut i left the edges a little bit faded because i'm going to go back in with this dark brown just gently tap that on the edges just to kind of blend that together before I move into some of the shimmers. Just a little bit, not too much. This little $10 palette is not doing too bad. Of course, it's not giving me the same pigment as my more expensive higher end palettes like Norvina and whatnot, but hey, if you want to be a diva on a budget, you can still get your fleek on, okay? So now that I have that kind of smoked out in the corner, I wanna start out with this dark blue shimmer. Y'all know I had to go into that. So I'm gonna start out with that. That is called Sapphire Sky, and I'm gonna place that on the outer portion of my cut crease. very very pretty I have my fan on so <laughs> my spray is blowing back into my face this coffee is getting better and better with every sip colder and colder too though <laughs> I don't mind a cold coffee though. Okay, so next to that dark blue, I wanna go into this lighter blue shimmer here, and that is called Bora Bora. Okay, she's pretty. She's not like remarkably smooth or anything, but she's nicely pigmented and she's laying down pretty good. Okay, so now that we have those two blues down, I want to bring the pink aspect onto my lid that I have kind of smoking out in my crease. And I'm gonna go into this beautiful pink shimmer shade here. And that is called Mirage, which is the name of the palette. And I'm spraying my brush for this color also. I feel like I haven't done a colored wing in a little while. So I'm going to use this blue eyeliner and create just a small wing for this look. It is blue. And this is one of my Handayan eyeliners that I got from AliExpress. Okay, sometimes these liners are hard to work with because they get, you know, they can get all over your lashes and they cannot be as opaque as you would like them to be. So you kind of have to go over them a few times. But I really like how that blue liner just kind of added to this eye look. So this video is going to be mad long because <laughs> I'm about to do my face on camera too. Okay, so I'm gonna try and use a lot of like drugstore or affordable makeup, if not all in this video, since I did use the Target palette. So for primer, I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. I haven't used this in so long. It says it's an instant pore eraser. I don't recall liking it that much. <laughs> it's kind of like that clear silicone type um, primer, so we shall see. Feels good. Mm, doesn't really smell like anything to me. But it feels really nice. 
Okay, for foundation today, I'm going in with my Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay, and I have this in the shade Warm Coconut. So to apply this foundation, I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Skin Smoothing Complexion Brush, and I'm going to just dampen it a little bit with some of my Olay spray. So how's everybody feeling about these daily ColourPop releases? <laughs> I looked and saw they had a new collection out this morning. I was like, really ColourPop? They just released the Smoke Show. Now they have one that's kind of like berry colored. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I mean, it's real pretty. But uh, listen, enough is enough, okay? They just done went ham. They trying to do a serious money grab before the holidays, okay? I'm not buying it. <laughs> I'm not. I mean, it's cute. It's cute. I guess I shouldn't say I'm not buying it because then if I buy it, y'all going to try to read me for filth. But I don't plan on buying it, okay? I do plan on checking my, you know, current collection and seeing if I can dupe that mug, okay? Because... When it's palettes like that, that are basically like one main, you know, color theme or whatever, you know, like berries with pop of gold shimmer here and there. I mean, it's not really necessary because I'm pretty sure I have those colors in my collection several times over. So it's easier for me to resist buying those type of palettes because, you know, if I can only create one type of look with it, I'm not really drawn to it anyway, unless it's something like a blue or a green or a purple. But like for berries and browns and golds and stuff like that, I can definitely dupe that. I used to only use, um, well, I guess I went through phases because when I first started doing videos on YouTube, I was just really, really in love with using like the artiste type brushes. So... I really enjoyed putting on my foundation and my concealer with the little paddle brushes and I would rub it in and pat in my concealer, but that's kind of time consuming. <laughs> so I kind of got sick of that. And then when I discovered, you know, beauty sponges, not beauty blenders, because honey, I ain't never paid $20 for no beauty sponge. Nope. But yeah, beauty sponges, then I fell in love with those because those are just quick and easy. But then I realized that they soak up a lot of products. So when you're using your beauty sponges, you know, you kind of have to go in. Like if you like full coverage like me, you kind of have to go in a lot more than with just a brush because you lose a lot of product in your sponges. But I do love using a sponge. It's so quick and easy, but it does. It takes up so much freaking product, okay? So for concealer today, I'm going in with some of my e.l.f. Camo Concealer, and this one is in the color Deep Cinnamon. Deep Cinnamon. I know, I don't know. With this concealer, it's kind of like people either love it or they hate it. I'm kind of like, uh in the middle i do like it i do because i like the coverage but i mean i will admit it does dry down matte and it can be a little difficult to blend out you know if you don't work quickly <laughs> so you know but i do i love the coverage and i like the the colors that they have for some concealers it's like i might like the coverage or the consistency, but the color or shade ranges that a lot of companies come out with, I can't really find one that I like. This one, I like. I really like the deep cinnamon. So I am gonna use a damp beauty sponge to blend this out. Hopefully it doesn't take away too much product because I'm gonna get irritated if it does. Just trying to rectify my dark circles today. Nothing more, nothing less. So that's not too bad. 
not too bad. The coverage is really nice. And I'm using a damp beauty sponge to blend this out. Okay, now lately I have been using my Becca Hydra Mist Powder because since I know it has a short lifespan, <laughs> I've been trying to use it because I don't want it to go to waste and I really like it. But since we're doing affordable or drugstore powders today, for under my eyes, I'm going to go in with my Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder. Just to use a little bit of this under my eyes. And this one is in the color Banana. <laughs> I must have seen somebody using this or something because, honey, I, typically I don't buy banana powder. I do not. I'm not here for the yellow the yellow uh, and powder. So I must have saw somebody using this and decided to try it out for myself. But, yeah, I'm just going to use a brush and just lightly tap this under my eyes. Because when I tell you, I do not like yellow under my eyes. I am so serious. I don't even like it to be too, too bright under my eyes. So when I put on the rest of the powder on my face, I will go over this area just to deepen it up so to set the rest of my face i'm going to use my kiss new york professional pro touch matte powder foundation i did get this from my local beauty supply i don't know if they sell kiss in any drugstores i don't know but it's mad affordable okay <laughs> So I'm going to use this to set the rest of my face. And I'm going to use the only other Kenzie brush that I have. <laughs> I bought these two Kenzie brushes from TJ Maxx when I was in Vegas with my girls shopping. DJ and Lily. And one of them, I washed it and it just fell apart. <laughs> I mean, every single strand of hair just fell right on out. I was like, you know what? TJ Maxx, I'm not here for it, okay? So, I'm gonna see how long this brush lasts. <laughs> Cause I really, really like this brush. I really liked the other one. It was a nice fluffy brush like this and it was actually bigger than this one. I love a big fluffy brush. It was bigger than this one. I used to just, just put my powder on with like two, two pounces but honey that brush was laid to rest early on in its career i mean i ain't had that brush for two months and it died <laughs> it died and i mean it wasn't like i was soaking it in water or anything i only had washed it you know a couple of times but honey he was like i'm checking out <laughs> okay i don't like this job i'm out of here i'm done <laughs> So yeah, my other Kenzie brush died. Now, usually at this point, I would go in and just bronze myself to the gods and call it a day. But instead of bronzing, I do want to play around with this. This is actually supposed to be a bronzer. This is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Sculpt Expert Bronzer, but it's very dark. So I'm going to use this basically to do more contouring on my face than bronzing. So I'm going to check this out. Hopefully I don't do too much because y'all know I'm heavy handed when it comes to bronzer. I heard so many people talk about this CoverGirl bronzer in the shade Ebony that I just had to get it. So I actually grabbed mine from Amazon. Don't really remember exactly how much it was, but I know it wasn't too much because honey... I don't spend too much money when I buy makeup from Amazon. See, so it's like, it's nice. It's creating a nice bronze look, but you know, if I was to go ham with it, it definitely would be more of a contour for me, which is what I'm trying to do. Okay, so you guys see how it kind of, it added that bronze look, but it's kind of deep enough to be used as a contour also if you want to, so. Yeah, I like this stuff. It's really, really nice. Just got to take it easy with it. Now, when I picked up the Mirage eyeshadow palette from Target, I also picked up a couple of items from this brand, Cai. It's C-A-I. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it. But this is a nice little quad. It has blushes and highlight. 
And what actually looks like is a bronzer in here as well. I'm going to play with this blush right here. It's the darkest blush in here and see how that looks on my complexion. Now, what I don't like about these type of palettes is you gotta really be careful to only dip into <laughs> the space that you want, so. Oh, that's pretty. Very pretty. <clears throat> Nicely pigmented. Yeah, very nicely pigmented. I need to take it easy. Ooh, yeah, that's pigmented. I love this blush color though. It's like right up my alley. It's like that beautiful, rosy, mauve color. And if you ever put on too much blush like I just did, you can just kind of go over it some with your regular powder brush just to kind of tone it down a bit. Okay, I like that, very nice. I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't more than 10 bucks. Pretty sure. Now, even though there is a highlighter in that little quad that I was just using, I want to use a highlighter out of this Revolution, um, what is this called? Vintage Lace. This is a beautiful kind of like lace patterned highlighter palette from Revolution. I bought this quite a while ago and forgot about it. <laughs> I stuck it in my drawer, forgot about it. And I was like, girl, you know what? You need to play around with one of them highlighters. Look how pretty. The design is on there. It's like so cool. So uh, let me swatch these, okay? And so I can see what's happening here. Ooh, hello, uh, hello. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. What? <laughs> what? Okay, Revolution. These little lace highlighters is still popping. Okay, what y'all think? Mm, I think I'm gonna go with the first one because the first one looks like it has a little bit of a pink duochrome shift to it. So, since we in the pink today, yeah, I'm gonna go with the first one, okay? You gotta be really careful with this highlighter because it is a little glittery. Ooh. But it's pretty though. So as you can see, I'm going in very lightly, barely tapping, cause I don't wanna have no crazy highlight. It's pretty though. You probably can't see it, but it does. It has kind of like a pinky gold shift to it. Really pretty. I like it. Now what's interesting about this highlighter is, as you can see, as I used this one, it's kind of like a top coat is coming off. So the gold part that was kind of creating that really bright gold look for the highlight. I don't know if you can, yeah, over here. It's like that's coming off and it's turning into more of like a pink, like a pink highlight, which you can see on my brow bone. Like by the time I got to my brow bone and my nose, it's turning into a pink. Very interesting. I still like it though. <laughs> okay guys, so back to the eyes. I am going to continue with the blue theme and line my eyes with this cobalt blue profusion eyeliner pencil. Very bold, very blue. <laughs> okay, so going back into this palette, I think I'm just going to take some of that pink that we have on the upper portion and just smoke out my lower lash line a little bit with that pink. Or should I do the brown? I should probably do both. Eh, I'm just gonna do the pink and see how that looks. Very pretty, I like that, okay. 
this palette is not too bad. It takes a little bit of building up, but not too bad. Okay, inner corner. Inner corner. Okay, you guys, so for inner corner, I want to use one of these Artist Couture Diamond Dust powders. Now, I got this in one of my subscription boxes a long time ago. I don't know if it was boxy or ipsy or what, but this one is called Purple Dream. It's really, really, like, crazy because it looks gold, but... It's like when you take some and swatch it, it has kind of like, she probably can't see it, but it has like a pinky purple shift to it, even though it looks gold. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, it has like a pinky purple shift to it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this in my inner corner. I'm gonna try to be careful with it. So I don't get it all over the place because it is a loose highlighter. But it's very bright and it looks very pretty when it shifts in the light. I wish you guys could see the pinky purple shift in it. I don't think you can, but ooh, it's pretty. I like that. That's pretty. Pretty! So yeah, if you guys have like loose highlighters hanging around and stuff and you don't know what to do with them, they work really, really great for an inner corner pop, honey. It'll take you five million years to use it, but <laughs> at least it won't be going to complete waste, okay? Okay, and for mascara, you know what? I'm supposed to be doing an affordable face. I don't think Artist Couture is affordable, <laughs> but... ColourPop has uh, loose highlighters as well. I have a million loose highlighters, highlighters from ColourPop. These are ones from Shayla. I have some from, I don't know, other collections, but ColourPop has some too, so you don't have to use the Artist Couture. But for lashes, I'm going in with my LA Girl Volumatic Mascara. I still don't know how I feel about this. Um... I think I'm just going to buy me some more Pixie. But I hate buying mascara because I have at least 20 mascaras in my drawer that I have gotten from monthly subscription boxes that I have not opened yet. And that's not counting the ones that I give away, okay? So I have a lot of mascara. So I hate to just buy one, even though I know... I really like the Pixie, so I'm trying to just use the ones I have, and maybe I come across one that I really like, but that has not happened yet, okay? So I'm kind of hesitant to buy any more mascaras until I use the ones that I have. So yeah, you can see the LA Girl Volumatic Mascara. It's not too bad. It's really not too bad. It's, it's, it's okay. Okay, so for lips, you guys. Okay, this is the fun part. I'm not doing nude today. <laughs> I went through my lipsticks and I pulled out a bunch of like fall colored lipsticks um, to go with different eye looks that I planned on doing. I know, some of the, I don't know, fall to me. <laughs> um, but this Glitterazzi is kind of like... um metallic purple and pink shift i'm kind of leaning towards this because it's dark and vampy ah i'm gonna swatch these two these are both semi metallic lipsticks and see which one i like better okay so -hoo -hoo. what are we thinking the dark purple or the bright pink i think we'll go with the pink mm, dang it Ooh, child. Maybe I should go with the purple. No, I'm going with the pink. <laughs> I'm going with the pink. Why not? You know, what's the point in playing with color if you're not going to go for it, right? So, yeah, I'm going to go with the pink. And this lipstick is a Glitter Goals lipstick from NYX. So this is a NYX Glitter Goals. And this is in the color Reflector. Okay. Does anybody else clean up their workspace while they doing their face? Because, <laughs> honey, when I'm done, my space needs to be clean so I can just get up and go, okay? That 
that's bright. <laughs> very, very bright, bold, pretty though. Oh my gosh, honey. Y'all got fall in my last video. I guess summer is making a comeback, honey. Because <laughs> this is not a fall look, but I love this color. So let me go ahead and let it dry and see what it looks like when it's dry. I might want to put a gloss on top of it. Okay, so yeah, dry down to a very nice matte metallic. It's very pretty. Very pretty. But I want to use a little bit of one of my new Fenty Gloss Bombs on top just a little bit i don't know which one this is so yeah so i'm just gonna put the name on the screen <laughs> Ooh, child y'all know these glass bombs do not play okay so glossy i know y'all like kk summer ended like two months ago well i'm bringing it back okay <laughs> and to set this look Keeping, you know what? I'm really messing up. Really messing up because Fenty is not affordable, okay? So just act like I didn't do that. Just let's pretend that we just have the NYX glitter lipstick, okay? Because NYX, yeah. NYX is like borderline affordable. <laughs> anyway, but just ignore the glass bomb, okay? So to set this, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild. Now this is their 3-in-1 Primer Water and this is in the scent Rose. So I'm gonna use this to set my face today. Very nice, I like this stuff. It smells just like roses. If you don't like roses, you won't like this. I love roses. And it smells just like a rose bush. Very nice. So this is it, you guys. I am pleasantly surprised at the products that I used today. This Mirage palette, okay, it's not too bad. I am really shocked, quite honestly. I thought it was going to be more dusty. You know, the pink wasn't going to be as pigmented as, as it is. The shimmers wasn't going to be shimming like they are. I really like it. So for a $10 palette, honey... Not bad, okay? Not bad at all. I like it. So I'm very pleased with how this affordable face turned out. Hopefully you guys like it and you had a good time hanging out with me for this Coffee and Color with KK. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!